Hi everyone, welcome to ERL 590 Spring 2021 Writing and the Teaching of Writing. I'm Dave Boardman, I'm the instructor for this course, and I am really glad to be here and very glad to see you all here online. Uh, I know for many of you, um, teaching and learning online has been a bit of a, a challenge for a while. Um, COVID has totally changed the landscape for education. But I am really glad you're here. I'm glad you're, uh, you're willing to dig in. And I think you'll find that this course does a lot of great things that kind of challenges um, the idea of teaching and learning online in a sense. Yes, we're still, uh, we're still remote. We're not doing this in person. Um, but that's got a lot of benefits, especially in a course like this, where you're going to spend a lot of your time writing and really thinking about writing and how it looks in education. And so I think that uh, I think we'll be able to have lots of interaction, lots of conversation, a lot of feedback and give and take between you and me, but also among yourselves. Um, you are you are educators who are coming from uh, up really all over the place as far as Switzerland and uh, as nearby as uh, right in Orono. So um, it, it's a great group of people, and you're going to see the diversity um, and really the wealth of experience in the first week as we start off with a quick introduction. So um, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a little bit about me um, in my introductory post that you'll see in one of the forums, but I'll tell you a little bit about myself right now. Um, I've been an adjunct at uh, UMaine for about 15 years and teaching um, secondary or secondary English and related fields for about 18 years. Uh, I teach at Mid Maine Technical Center in Waterville, Maine, where I work with high school juniors and seniors in video journalism, photography, design, filmmaking, and more. And I do a lot of community-based uh, film film production programs for young people. I've I've really loved. Um, working with young people who are really excited about working with cameras and telling stories visually and writing in a lot of really different ways. Uh, that's one of my big passions. I'm also a photographer. I have been a journalist, uh, television producer, um, filmmaker, documentarian, and um, many other connected things that somehow all come around the idea of writing and uh, telling stories and communicating through words and so much more. So I love this course and I hope that uh, you will love it as much as I do. And I love writing. And uh, whether you're coming to this course as someone who just, you know, loves writing and feels great about it, to someone who um, is like really scared about the idea of writing, that's okay because it's, it's just going to be a great experience. You're going to find, uh, I think, a pathway for yourself where you explore writing as a writer, even as a new or uncertain writer, and you're going to explore what writing means for the students you work with every day. So I'm really glad you're here, and I can't wait to get to know you all. Let's take a look at the course. So um, I'm gonna, I've got a separate video that's really about the syllabus and a bit about the course, but I'll just repeat one quick thing. And that is to say that, you know, this is a course about writing for yourselves as writers, no matter how proficient or comfortable you are uh, and teaching writing. And it's really about expanding both of those ranges, uh, becoming more comfortable and happier and more proficient um, and all good things as a writer and finding more and more ways to work with your students to help them feel the same thing. So that's that's the bottom line. Let's take a look at uh, the first week of the course. This is very much an introductory week, both introduction in terms of who we are as writers and teachers and the work itself. I think that online especially, 
this is really important because I'm going to be asking you to work with other people in the class and look at their writing. And it might be really personal writing sometimes. And so it's important to get to know each other and just to, to get a sense of who we are. So we'll do it easily. Uh, the first thing is posting to a forum called Who We Are. Uh, I made my poems, and I ask you to have the freedom to do different things. You can just simply write a quick description of yourself, and that's great. Um, I took my phone and I propped it up against my coffee cup, and I just tried to look at where the camera was, and hopefully gave you a minute or two about uh, a few things about me. Um, if you post um, just uh, in writing, include a picture. It's always nice to see who's who's in the course. Um, so your choice. I then ask you to explore some of the research. Look, our industry is teaching writing, and we have some pretty major uh, research organizations out there who for years have come out with research-based policy statements about what it means to teach writing, uh, what it means to be a writer in school, and how we can best help students. So I've got four links for you to take a look at. And they're from the National Council of Teachers of English as well as the International Literacy Association. There's nothing huge to, to read here, um, but they are really meaningful in terms of uh, the content. So I, I think that you'll find they're, they're really helpful. Um, let's, uh, sorry, I just opened it in a new tab. Okay, um, so that's one of the key things. I also want you to explore what writing looks like today. And I've given you kind of a range of, um, of different links, and you can certainly go off on your own and find other links um, as well. I'm very conscious that not everyone here is teaching in the same grade level. And I really want, no matter what grade level you're, you're coming to this from, from pre-K to um, college level, for you to find things that work for you. Um, that said, there's a huge value for an elementary educator to see what happens in high schools and for high school teachers to see what happens in elementary grades. Your young kids you're working with will become those high school students. And your high school students were once those young kids. So it, it, I think it's really key to, to have that sense of range. Anyway, I've got a number of things for you to explore here. And that's really what I want you to do, is just to explore. See what, uh, what the links are. See what, see what a poem looks like from a young girl of age 11. Um, see what multimedia writing. I am part of a lost generation looks like. Um, it's a little dated, but it's a brilliant piece. Do a little exploring. My, my students are uh, young journalists. There's one of my students right there, this first guy here. So see what uh, young students writing journalism looks like. Take a look at that. And then kind of put all that together. How does your, how does what you see in those policy statements and what you see in your own classroom and in these glimpses in other writing spaces all come together for you. So this is our first prompt, and it should be a kind of a pretty substantial conversation. Take a little time. Um, you can post something quick and early if you want, like, wow, fascinated by Lost Generation or Raise Your Voice. Um, it just opens my world. But then come back with a lot more for us. Um, spend some time kind of putting together uh, really a, a well thought out, uh, thorough response to, to the prompt. It's very much a casual essay. Um, think about like more column than formal research essay with quotes and all that sort of thing. All right, subscribe to the forum. Please check in periodically. Uh, reply to comments left on your post and uh, comment on someone else's. There's not a specific number of comments that you need to make. Um, but I just want people to be active in these over the course of the week. There's another forum called What Are You Reading? And I ask you in this forum to uh, let us know what you're going to be reading um, as text in this course. 
if you haven't made a decision yet, please feel free to take your time with that. Um, and if you don't even post this uh, this week, that's quite all right as well. If you have any ideas for books that aren't on the list that or that are that that you love and you want to share that, it's a great place to just put out a quick message to people that. Um, Hey, I, I read this once and you may want to read it. So um, it's just a great place. Then um, that's the real big work of the week. Um, our, our last big thing is to explore your own ideas about the course. Um, what is it you want to do in terms of writing? Do you want to stick with the format of the course and the projects as they're laid out? Or do you want to do the required ones and then venture off and tackle that writing project that you've always been interested in? People in this course in the past, I've just been fascinated by what people have um, done. I, I ran into a teacher who is uh, now retired, but when he took the course, he was fascinated by his family's history in Latvia and um, just, just was really interested in writing about that. Well, from the writing he started in this course, he wrote a book and published it. Another woman wrote a young adult novel um, starting off in this course. So there's all kinds of possibilities, from journal articles to um, bigger things. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Um, and finally, start exploring um, the first writing project. We are uh, essentially a week from Thursday, February 4th, you'll be submitting your first take, your first draft on this writing project. So uh, that'll come up pretty quick. So that's the basic run through. Um, you'll find everything here in week one, but you can really work off that get started place. And um, then you will really have everything in one place. Uh, I've been using Brightspace for um, about the last eight months or so with my high school students. This is the first university course I've taught using Brightspace. So, um, and for many of you, it might be the first time you're using it. Uh, we'll run into glitches. I'm sure that'll happen. Uh, but we'll try to try to keep those to a minimum. And if you spot any issues, uh, missing links or anything like that, let me know. It's going to happen. I ask for your patience and uh, we'll do the absolute best I can to make this a great experience for you. All right, so um, enjoy, see you in the week, and um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and for you to uh, do some explorations this week. Thanks.